Hi, I'm Mally Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers, and today I'm going to share a project with you using the 123 punch board. This is the ultimate punch board. You can create hundreds of different projects in different sizes using this punch board. You can make envelopes, you can make bows, boxes, and a whole lot more. What I love about this board is if you want something quick and easy, just fold open the arm here and it's got all of the measurements and instructions and it's even color coded envelopes, bows and boxes to match the different score lines on the board. Super easy for someone like me who gets confused. So, um, and then it also comes with an instruction book that shows you lots of additional um, projects you can make and gives you more detailed instructions so you can create tons of fun projects with this. So today we are going to focus on the bow feature of this tool and we're going to make what I like to call a paper bow garland. So I've added some paper bows um, that I created using the beautiful Hello Darling line and then I strung a few pieces of ephemera in there in between to kind of break up the bows. So I'm going to show you how to create the bows for this garland. So if we open the punch board and we look down here at the bow instructions, I'm going to make today the very largest bow. That's the extra, extra large bow. So that tells me I need to cut my paper width to one and a half inches and it gives A, B, and C paper lengths. Those are the different pieces you need to cut. So I need one one and a half inch piece that's 10 inches long and then another one that's five and a quarter inches long and a third one that's three eighths of an inch long. And then over here it tells you where to line up the A and the B pieces of paper when you punch them on the board. So we'll start with the 10 inch piece and that's the part that's going to actually make the, the bows, the curves in the bow, okay? So down here on the punch board it tells us to line that up on number on five inches. So we'll just place it right up here on five inches and punch. Then we're going to just flip it over and again line it up at five and punch. Now we need to create the ends so that they conform into the shape of this part of the bow back here so that you don't see that part of the bow when you assemble it. So what we do is we go to our bow guide and we put this in right along the edge of that line there and punch that corner and then we do all of the other corners as well. Punch again and again. Okay, so that piece is now ready to be assembled. So I'm going to set that aside and now we're going to work on the tails or the ends of the bow, which is this part right here. Okay, so this piece is actually a little bit larger than the five and a quarter. Um, if you're working with more of like a masculine project and you want your bow to kind of have more of a bow tie feel, that size is perfect. I wanted a more feminine feel to my bow since this is a, a more of a girly project. So I went ahead and, and cut my, to, my paper to six inches long. So the way you tell where to line that up on your board, since the measurement isn't right here, is you just cut that number in half. So since this is a six inch strip, I'm going to line it up right at the three. So I get my little notches right in the center. Flip over and do the same thing. And the rest of this, you'll just follow the instructions on the board here. And we're going to just insert it into this punch. And right along here, let me turn this so you can see, Right along here you've got measurements to help you get that centered. There's one and a half inches here and then there's one inch here so that you can kind of get that right that uh, notch right in the center of the ends of your bow. So I'm going to line mine up at one and a half, punch, and then do the same thing on the other end. All right, so now I've got all my pieces. Here's my three eighth inch piece and I'm going to show you how to assemble those together. We'll scoot the scraps out of the way. All right, so first of all, working with the, the curves of the bow, I like to take my fingers and kind of run them along the bow to sort of curl it before I tape it down. And I'll do the same thing on the other end. And that kind of preps the paper so that it doesn't crease, so it's got a nice full curve to it. 
So I've already cut some tape. I'm using double-sided red tape. This is American Crafts and it is super strong. Whatever adhesive you choose to use, make sure it's really strong. When you're working with paper that, that's bent or curved, you need a super strong adhesive. So I'm gonna just place this right along that tape and press down. Again, being careful not to crease the, the curve there. Okay, now we've got our curves and we're gonna add the center of the bow. And I've already got some adhesive back there that's, that's exposed, so I'm just gonna put this right in the center and fold that around. And that's just, well, if I do that straight, it'll land right in the adhesive. Okay, so there's that part of the bow. And now we're gonna attach the, the ends or the tails. So I'm just gonna put a couple pieces of this double-sided tape right over here to keep that in place. Oops, got too much out of there. Okay, these little pieces like tickling. Okay, so we're gonna place that right over the notch so they match up just perfectly. Okay, so there's your bow, and um, I am going to add this just at the end. Let me scoot this down of the garland here. There's a place for it right here. And I'm just using some um, decorative uh, clothespins. These are gold glitter dipped from American Crafts, but you can use whatever you'd like. You can glue it on, you can tape it on. I'm just going to pick up the twine. I've used the Baker's twine from We Are Memory Keepers. And I love the um, spools because the ribbon that way isn't, or the, I'm sorry, the twine that way isn't folded over so you don't have those kinks in your twine when you go to use it. It's wrapped nicely around a spool. So now I've got that on and my garland is complete. Let me hold that up one more time so you can see. And that would be a perfect project for a girl's bedroom, for a nursery maybe for a baby shower or um, a tea party for young little girls. Super beautiful and feminine and fun little project. And before I finish, I just wanna show you one more fun thing that you can do that's a different option if you'd like to make a different style bow. I've got the different pieces already punched and assembled here. And before I attach this on, I'm gonna just cut that in half right down the center. And then I'm gonna take a couple pieces of tape and just put them at the top there. And I'm just gonna add them so that they're hanging down rather than going out to the side. Just kind of get those even. There we go, and that's just another, well, if I push down harder, <laughs> get that adhesive. That's just another fun way to create a different style bow. Just gives you some more options um, for this awesome punch board. So thanks for joining me. I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers.